Thank you, everyone. Uh, the last couple of employee meetings is probably going to slide that has uh, maybe my picture on it and a quote. So uh, that wasn't good enough for Mr. Ricana. So uh, they brought me here personally. Um, he asked me a couple weeks ago to, to deliver my story uh, that I gave at, at, uh, at, at Galita about a year ago, and that's the transfer here. Uh, I'm very busy with projects, but uh, the last guy that said no to Mr. Ricano ended up like this. So, uh, <laughs> so we're going to come back to that. I want to give my story here uh, to this site now that I've transferred here. So my name is Kyle Godwin. I'm an associate R&D engineer uh, in the research and development group, new product development. Uh, of uh, working on the M5 and the uh, high-speed burst line right now. But I'm, I'm not only a Medtronic employee, I'm a Medtronic patient as well. And a lot of you might not be familiar with that. So uh, I'm here today to deliver my story. So first things first, I want to show of hands uh, how, many, how many people here in the audience you know, have a close friend, relative, know somebody who's been affected by chronic disease. Show, show of hands. A lot of people. How many of those people have been effect, have been treated with a Medtronic device. How many people themselves have been treated with a Medtronic device? Okay. It's like Mike Bush is our next speaker at the next appointment. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, anyways, I'm here to give my story. I, uh, when I was very young, I was diagnosed with a condition of the school called cranial stenosis. It's where the uh, plates of my forehead would converge forward, and they would also converge inward too. So I would have Frequently loss of vision, headaches, a lot of uh, discomfort going through my youth, and, and obviously a visual defect as well. So at 13 years old, my neurosurgeon, um, they tried to remove the tumor once, and it came back within one month. So going going through, through puberty and, and, and growing very fast at that age, uh, it, it wasn't smart to try to hit it every month, obviously. So 16 years old, they tried again, came back within three months. My neurosurgeon kind of set me aside and said, hey, we got to get this when you're older. When you stop growing, this is going to have to be when you're in college. Um, you're going to have to be in your 20s, your early 20s. And I said, that's, that, that's fine. So I, I went about five years with, with this tumor in my school. And, and it was very brutal growing up. And uh, so anyways, I, I went off to college with knowing that this was going to have to happen my, my junior year. I didn't tell any of my friends. And my junior year, my surgery was actually during a, a, a Right before Christmas, I was studying mechanical engineering, so I had a lot of uh, different headaches going on at the same time. But, uh, um, I went to a school in Arizona called Northern Arizona University. Again, studied mechanical engineering, uh, which is what I pursued. I wanted to be working on cars and, and a lot of stuff. So um, in my surgery, what they did was they cut this entire portion of my skull out. I actually have a scar that runs 182 stitches ear to ear. Uh, this is all of stitches. You can't see it now, right now because my hair is long. But, uh, Maybe next time I'll, I'll, I'll shave my hair a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, you, can, you can see it, um, and it's, 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 it stays with me for the rest of my life. So what they did was they cut me open, they put the, the, they pulled the flap down. Um, the marketing guys can probably tell you exactly what they did. But, um, and they put this uh, titanium plate in my head, and uh, they put, just to, to protect me and, and everything. And, and uh, it was just so, I was just so fascinated when I'm sitting there in my surgery, as an engineer, you look around and you see all these products and devices, and, and I'm sitting here thinking, somebody's an engineer doing that kind of work. Forget cars. I want to help people. I want to be an engineer dedicated to, to making somebody else's life better the same way that this protects me and, and all the work, that all the tools that were used on me. I want to be that person for somebody else. So I, I switched my direction of, of engineering, mechanical. Uh, I, I, put that towards biomedical engineering. I had a great advisor in college that, that really uh, led me down that path. And, and when I graduated, which was uh, spring of 2013, so May of 2013 in Arizona, I uh, put my resume out to a couple companies, uh, Stryker, St. Jude, and then Medtronic. Uh, was, was, uh, they had two co-op openings out in Goleta and one in, one in Santa Rosa. So I applied to Goleta. And I get a, a call the next day from a gal named Wendy Hawker. A lot of you guys here might know her. And I start asking what kind of products they make there in Goleta. Uh, they do hydrocephalus shunts, some amazing technology, a lot of critical care. And then uh, she said, oh, we also do this cranial plating system called Time Mesh. And I said, stop. Mom, get the medical records. Uh, <laughs> so my mother called up my neurosurgeon. 
and a Medtronic product made by this sector right here that all of us work for as Medtronic employees is the reason that I am alive and well today. So thank you, everybody. So here I am, the entry-level engineer. Um, I was uh, an intern for a co-op out in, in Goleta, in neurosurgery out there, working on essentially the same product line and, and some other things that were used, would be used on me. Uh, there was also an ENT in my, in my surgery that I, I still talk to. He, he knows of my career, and, it, and it's, it's, it's just, I'm so passionate about the work, work we do here. My first day on the job, I was sitting right in a cadaver lab. It's, it was absolutely incredible what we do here. So. Um, I'm uh, very thankful to, to have uh, moved out here to Jacksonville and be in research and development. We're finding new technologies like the one I have used on me, so, um, uh, and here I am. Um, so I guess I just kind of want to go out here and look at our, our everybody here. We might take for granted what we do here in our daily lives. Our, our, we get lost in the, in the SOPs and then ECNs and making, making, doing things that day to day that we sometimes lose track of why we're here, why we work for this company in Medtronic that you go down to its core values and its founding, and, and, and you think about why we're all here doing what we do. It's because we are helping people. Somewhere down the road, our patients might be our friends, our family members, and sometimes it might even be ourselves. So I'm going to go out here. Hi, Mr. Sir, what's your name? Thomas. Thomas, thank you for making my life better. Thank you. Thank you.